Welcome guys. Welcome guys. So in this video, I want to talk about the Korean form of the Maxwell equation. Uh, so what I want to, uh, why I want to present this video, uh, because like uh, there's a very uh, annoying detail about this covering from Maxwell equation because different book use uh, different notations, and the uh, seldom textbook uh, give you the details, right? So in this video, I will I will fix the notation. So I will fix the notation, and uh, prepare all the detail, uh, give all the detail as as possible as I can. So that uh, uh, you guys can give a uh, leave as a reference that uh, if any time in the next time in your life you see somebody talk about Korean form of Maxwell equations, you can start from here and uh, check that everything is correct. Okay, so in the beginning that uh, I want to define a, a coordinate. Let's say x alpha I define with ct x, or basically people also are right. So you you ct x y z. Or if you're working in the high energy theory, that uh, people sometimes set, set C to be 1 in the high energy. But it's fine that uh, I will assume that uh, you guys are not from high energy. So you guys are not, cra are not crazy to do doing like a string theory or something, which uh, I uh, I will, uh, I previously did. Okay, so <laughs> this partial V is this one, right? So uh, remember that I define X positive, uh, sorry, X upper script to be C, T, X, Y, Z. Okay, so that means what? That means if I use the, okay, so let's define a matrix. So matrix is very important in uh, all of the special relativity and general relativity. So if you don't have the matrix property, then everything sucks, okay? So the matrix I define is my one minus one, one minus one. So it's most minus sign, okay? So that, that means my X lo lower V will be C, T minus x minus y minus z. So this this uh, partial uh, derivative of uh, upper script will be uh, 1 divided by c partial t, right? Because this one, right? And the uh, partial x, partial y, partial z. But remember, there is a negative term. OK, so our minus lower script term will be c partial t, partial x, partial y, partial z. Okay, so we can define a so-called Dalong version. It's basically the partial v, partial v. So basically, it's a wave equation. So it's c squared partial t squared, right? This the first term is positive, and uh, this is Laplacian. Laplacian. So Laplace. Let me just quickly rewrite you. Laplacian is just uh, partial partial x, partial partial square partial y, partial square partial z squared. Okay. So this is just set up a stupid notation and the uh, tensor. Okay, so the next the things that we need to, uh, what we need to do is that construct electric field and the magnetic field, right? By introduce the so-called uh, a vector. Okay, so I define that uh, a alpha is c phi, uh, uh, c phi a, right? So this is the vector potential. So a lower alpha will be phi c divided by negative. Uh, right, just change the negative sign here. Okay, and uh, also people can define partial f alpha beta will be partial alpha a beta partial beta a alpha. Okay, so let's uh, compute some component and uh, make sure that uh, in in this the uh, produce the electromagnetic field. So let's say. Let's say I compute F01, right? So it's partial A, partial 0, A1, partial 1, A0. So what is partial 0, A1, right? Partial 0 is this one, right? So it's C divided by partial T. Uh, what is A1, right? So A lower 1 is negative AX uh, minus, uh, right, partial 1. So it's partial, partial X. A0 is C5. Right, so this is exactly F01. So this is C uh, partial X, Y, and uh, plus minus partial TA. Okay, so this is electric field. Right, so let me just remind you guys that B is just the divergent of A, and uh, E is just negative gradient phi minus C. 
呃 partial a partial t， 呃、uh, so 呃、uh, sorry about it 啊 sorry， 啊<咳>、uh, let so let me check this partial zero a one is a one is here right so 呃、uh, five a sorry a a one is a one is partial 呃、uh, negative x and the、uh, partial partial x。Pa minus partial partial x a zero. So a zero is defined to be, uh, defined to be phi c. <coughs> okay, so let's pick up c. Then you get a minus negative x phi minus t a x. Okay, so I think there is a notation here. Is that the?、Uh, I think there is there is c here, right? Because otherwise that, uh, uh it do not make sense. I I just want to ch check that this is correct. Okay, and the, but I mean the、uh, so like f one two is basically obvious that it will be like the f ah、uh, it will be like the b z right. So it's obvious that you can check this two three will be like the b x and the three one will be b y. Okay, so, uh, let me check. Okay, okay. Uh, I think there's nothing, nothing, uh, nothing. It all of this should be correct, right? So, okay. So now we can write down f alpha beta, right? So for this is zero 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 in the diagonal, and then for this one one zero one is e x. Divided by c, right? So it's e y divided by c, e z divided by c, and uh, and uh, let's say uh, right minus b z b y b x, and then right this is uh anti-symmetric. So negative one negative e y divided negative e z divided by c. Okay, and the one you can construct the f f upper lower alpha beta by just Uh, compute this right, so it's beta v f u v right. But basically, so this is the this is the metric right. So if you times this, then basically you just do the easy, easy computation. Then then everything contains zero will be uh there will be a flip right. So you will get this. Okay. And、uh, this is b z b y, right? Because everything contains zero will be flip, but、uh, you don't care. But、uh, this three magnetic one will not get flip. Okay. Okay. So I think this is all the、uh, all the symbol that、uh, we need. Okay. And then we also define that the j alpha will be just zero j, right? So If you start from here, that、uh, we can construct a Maxwell equation. So the the first one Maxwell equation, right, will be partial. Uh, let's say. Let's check the notation. Right. So the first one Maxwell equation should be this. Okay. So let's quickly see uh where this is correct. Oh, so it's very annoying that、uh, it's here, right? So partial. Let's say let's take the alpha equals to zero. Oh, sorry, the beta equals to zero. Okay, so it's partial zero. Uh, partial one, right? Partial one, this one. Partial two, f zero two. Partial three, f zero three. Mu not j. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll write it above. Sorry about this. I'm stupid. So it's partial zero, uh, one f one zero, partial two f two zero, partial three f three zero, right? This is so partial. So our lower square partial is correct one, right? So this is partial partial x, right? And then f one zero here is negative e x divided by c, right? So if you add these three three terms, obviously that、uh, you get this. So this is the divergent of e, as mu not divided by, right? So Oh, sorry. It's one zero. One zero is here. So sorry, it's positive. Yeah, so it's positive. 
and then you get the uh, mu naught times j beta. So j zero is zero, right? So you get the gra uh, gradient. Uh, sorry, the diversion of e is basically mu naught c square rho, right? And the uh, remember c square is one over mu naught epsilon naught. So it's rho divided epsilon. So this is the first equation, and you you guys can check the rest should be correct. Okay. So that means uh, we get the Maxwell equation. And the next term is basically we can get another Maxwell equation is this, is, uh, is this one. Okay, so uh, I will not prove it, but you can, but, but you, but you will get the, you will get these two Maxwell equation. Okay, so this is the f Maxwell equation uh, of the covariant form. Okay. Okay, so the next one uh, is very important that uh, I want to talk about is basically the, the uh, I, I think I don't have to talk about the Lorentz force, right? But I want to talk about the very important one is the Lagrangian of the Maxwell equation. Okay, so this is, I claim that the Lagrangian density for a Maxwell equation is this. So this is a very uh, annoying calculation in the high energy theory that people like to talk. So basically, if you if you do this, do the variation principle of this Lagrangian density, then uh, you will get this. Okay, so that's this the derivation that uh, I want to uh, present. Okay, so let's take this right. So this is this is our. Uh, our uh, starting points, right? So this partial, partial beta, a alpha minus partial beta, right? So beta is by Einstein's summation, right? So partial, partial, uh, a alpha to be zero, right? This is, this is a uh, calculation. So let's, maybe let's do this part first, right? So that's partial, partial, j alpha is very trivial, right? It's just j alpha, negative j alpha, j alpha, right? Okay, but how about this? Okay, so, the key point is that uh, we just need to find out uh, what's, what this is, what this is. Okay, so let's notice that uh, we, we, we will need to do the partial beta A alpha for this one, right? So let's do the first first term. So first term is that this is basically if F lambda sigma are written as F mu, nu, uh, mu nu and nu lambda nu sigma, right? So, and, uh, so that means Right. So we have also at least this is far from a definition, right? So start from here, we and then we also have this. Well, let's say partial row a sigma, right? This will give us a mu sigma a mu rho, delta uh, nu sigma, right? So things there are so this is definition. And, okay. So that means, uh, let's give a. Give a space to compute this. Okay, so that space is basically partial a or partial partial beta alpha a alpha, right? It's basically my negative one for mu zero, partial f nu nu mu lambda v sigma f lambda sigma. So why is this? Is basically I just spend uh spend uh spend this f alpha beta, right? And the spin is lambda uh, sigma, right? Because so uh, so this is so all of, so all these terms have larger nu nu, right? right? So I just use nu nu because I will use beta i a alpha here, so I cannot use alpha beta here, right? So let's call it partial beta a alpha, okay? So the all so now we have four terms. So the first term f uh that's uh, let's pull out uh, this. Uh, matrix because matrix is just a constant, right? So that's so we get this, right? Partial, partial. Sorry about this. The uh, very annoying. Okay. Okay. So we start from here, right? So what is here, right? So this, right? So you see, uh, 
this adds new new right contains a new partial mu pa partial new a b right so let's let's take this term so right so the, the first term for this is basically let's fix this so it's f lambda sigma and then we did this for this right and then remember this is just this right so the first term will be partial it will be delta new beta delta alpha v and the second term just change 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 uh, this new and uh, mu and new right, alpha and the same thing is basically f mu mu beta lambda alpha sigma beta sigma delta alpha lambda okay so the same thing but ch exchange this lambda and sigma and, it, and we, we don't that this is anti-symmetry, right? So this minus can be ignored. So total, you will have four terms. By combining these, total, you will have four terms, right? So this four term will cancel this. So finally, you get the minus F beta alpha mu naught, right? You can check this because this is delta, so the only survived summation will be beta equals to mu. Okay, so let's go back, go back to here. Okay, so next time I should use a good good reason. Uh, partial beta become minus beta alpha. Mu naught part minus j alpha, right? Zero. So it's let's check is partial beta f beta alpha equals to mu naught j alpha. Okay, so this is so this is beta alpha. So this is the Maxwell equation derived from the Lagrangian. Okay, so, uh, so I think that's it. So basically, in this setting, we first set the Maxwell equation, set the notations, and the check the Lagrangian indeed give us the correct Maxwell equation. Okay, now I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.